for them to take it one step further and flat out lie in the in their official press release saying that I didn't attempt to reconcile the situation when on two separate occasions I specifically acknowledged and openly requested a form to be corrected. Malcolm X said it best. The media is the most powerful entity on earth. It will have you hating the people being oppressed and loving on the people doing the oppressing, making the innocent guilty and the guilty innocent. My hope and original goal was to use this moment to show healing and acceptance <clears throat> and prayed that Viacom would use their powers for good. Instead, I am now receiving death threats, hate messages, and calling me an ungrateful nigger and beyond. Viacom's goal to keep me from providing providing for my family and lineage will be foiled. They can try to kick me while I'm down or force me to kiss the master's feet in public for shame and ridicule. But instead, I stand firm on my square with my fist in the air, reheating my mantra, you can't fire a boss a pleasant turn of events and the best blessing in all of this hurtful attack is the outpouring love and support from the Jewish community. It has been amazing. I have spoken with many rabbis, clergy, professors, and co-workers who offered their sincere help. I must apologize to my Jewish brothers and sisters for putting them in such a painful position, which was never my intention, but I know this whole situation has hurt more people, and together we will make it right. I have dedicated my daily efforts to continue conversations to bring the Jewish community and the African American community closer together, embracing our differences and sharing our commonalities. Through the guidance of my multicultural team, which embodies several people from the Jewish community, specifically Michael Goldman, my business partner for three decades, who discovered me at the Hollywood Improv when I was doing stand-up as a kid, grew thick and thin he has been by my side, yelling at me when I talk too much and laughing with me as we always overcome adversity together. I love you, brother. Thank you for helping me become the man I am today. And as we embark on this next incredible journey together, we will bring our two persecuted communities together like we always have planned. Well, good for you, Nick. Good for you. But I still don't understand why you need to go on a rant and try to disown Viacom. Just remember the fact that Viacom CBS owns at least half of what you created. Okay? Let that sink in for a second. Why I know, and plus a bunch of other shows you created for Viacom CBS is owned by Viacom CBS.